Oh, Rockstar. This, this is the line. Alright, I can deal with microtransactions. I can deal with milking one game for almost 10 years. Well, it, it has been 10 years at this point. Um, you know, just, just all the bullshit. Like, increasing the prices of everything in GTA to, like, millions and millions to, you know, enforce the grind or force people to buy shark cards. It is what it is, right? I've put up with it up to this point. But, um, this is the line. So, I've joked about this before. Right? I talk about, oh, the future of gaming is going to be subscription services, and you're going to have to have your EA Pass, and your Ubisoft Pass, and your Activision Pass, and your, you know, all your subscription services for each developer, and pay X amount a month, and you'll be paying thousands. You know, I've joked about it before, right? The whole concept. And while I'm partially joking, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up happening. And well, this is the start of it, right? It's not as drastic as that. And some people are going to be like, oh, you're over-exaggerating. No, this is the start. This is how it starts. So if you have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about, if you're not in the, in the gaming Twitter hemisphere, then um, let me go ahead and introduce you to the stupidest concept I've ever heard in my entire life. And not just the concept itself, but actually, like, bang for- what you actually get, bang for buck. God, this- GTA Plus, right? Not Disney Plus, the streaming service. GTA Plus, right? What is GTA Plus? Well, it's a- it's a, it's a service. And we throw around that word games as a service, right? With the whole online thing, constantly fixing a game after launch. But- but this is truly games as a service, right? So what is it? You pay your six bucks a month. That's, uh, or, oh, by the way, only available on the versions of the game that you had to buy again for the fourth time ten years later. But, um, you, you buy your stupid subscription service, right? It's six dollars a month, and you get certain perks within GTA Online. Now, that's fine, you know, if you get something decent. It's not that expensive. It's absolutely ridiculous. You better get some really cool stuff. You better be getting some unique vehicles, maybe a unique vehicle every month. A unique weapon, some like, you know, bonus cash and all of that stuff. Some crazy new stuff that's exclusive to the people that have this service. So let's go look at what's exclusive to this service. And exclusive isn't the right word, because not all of this is exclusive. Number one, 500k. Now, I haven't played GTA religiously pretty much since the casino update. But even back then, I could make 500k in five hours by myself so you can do it quicker if you have friends there's probably quicker methods now so i mean that that means absolutely nothing i'm not giving you real money for that next a car that's already in the game um with a skin all right and then in in parentheses there it says it will eventually be made available to the general public so you're literally paying for early access to something Next, an auto shop property. Don't care, right? Like, it's, it's, a, it's a new property for business. Cool. Waived car membership fees. And, oh, and then reimburse 50k during event periods at car meets. Don't care. Alright, yacht owners can upgrade to the, to the better yacht. You have to buy a yacht in the first place. Don't care. A fucking shirt in shorts clothes oh my god i'm gonna flip my shit all right but let's 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 just keep going all right now pay attention to this next one the conveyor livery for the avengers the apc and, the, the, and all this shit right not not the actual vehicle oh no you don't get those three vehicles you get the livery so you still have to put in your credit card and buy their stupid ass shark cards or grind it out like a normal person to get these vehicles, and don't quote me on it, let me look it up as we speak, but I'm almost certain the Avenger is the VTOL, which is in a, yeah, which is an absurd amount of money. Alright, so all of these things, and let me, you know, just for the fun of it, just for the shits and giggles of fuck Rockstar, let's look up the APC where we're at it. Yeah, all of these things are noxiously expensive. The APC is probably the cheapest one of the three. But still, they're all well in the millions. And 
if you want to just do a little bit of fun GTA math, eight million is a hundred dollars. So work backwards. This none of this is worth it. We're not done though. Let's keep going. Um, free paints and emblems for the auto shop. Again, I don't even know how to use an emblem. All right, so keep going. This is probably the best one, right? Out of everything on this list, three times cash and RP on the work race series is probably the best thing here. I mean, I don't know how much money this makes you, but let's say it makes you 10K, right? Just some awful amount of money. That goes up to 30, and if it's something you can do relatively quickly, again, I have absolutely no clue what the fuck this is, but regardless, triple cash, permanent, that's decent. Again, it's not worth fucking six dollars, but it's decent. All right, and then two times rep on Street Race series. It fucking nobody cares about XP. All right, so this is a waste of money. If you buy this, get the fuck out of here. I, I'm honestly tempted to say, I mean, aside from the fucking T-shirt, which is obviously the best deal on here, aside from the exclusive stuff. If you actually just bought, and I'm not telling you to fucking do this, please do not go do this. If you just bought $6 in shark cards, I think you'd make more money than this. Like, just flat out money, I think the benefits would be worth more. Because realistically, you're waiving fees on a race, so let's just use that 50k number. You're getting 550k, right? And then just to do some stupid ass math, let's say... You know, three times on race series. Let's say, I don't know, on race, if it's like normal races, first place on double cash, you'd make 50. So let's make it 75. So that's like 650 in cash you're getting right there. Then from there, you're getting one, two, three, four. I mean, it says free paint. So I don't know how many that is, but at least four paint jobs, right? A location for a shop, just so you don't have to drive as far, I guess, to an auto shop, and then shirt and shorts. Oh, and if you own all these expensive-ass vehicles, you get, you know, upgrades for them, but if you own all these expensive-ass vehicles, you've already put an absurd amount of money in the game, where you're a sane person and just grind for this shit. But, um, this is dumb. Like, this is really dumb. And it's not, it'd be one thing if it was like $6 a month, you get like 3.4 million and only an exclusive new vehicle every single month, an exclusive new, you know, couple paint jobs, a new gun, some outfits, like all this cool shit that you'd actually use. If I bought this, honestly, if I bought this, I'd use the money, obviously, the triple cash, and, and that's, that's, I would not touch the rest of this, but... That's just me. I know there's going to be some absolute psychopath that thinks this is the best deal ever. And I was like, oh, all gaming should go towards subscription services. Or fucking it'll come out like next week when this launches. Why GTA Plus is the best deal on Xbox or something. God, this is infuriating. So typically this is where it's, let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below. But, um... If you think this is a good idea, I, I don't care what you have to say. Like, get out of here. Um, if, if you think this is an awful idea, though, feel feel free. Like, tear GTA to shit. But, um, if you want to see me rant and slowly lose my mind over the downfall of gaming, make sure you guys subscribe. And, um, that Elden Ring video, I mean, it'll come out eventually. I don't know if it's going to be this year or not, because I'm making no progress. But, we got Lego Star Wars coming out. So that'll be a review, uh, but that's where we're at.